Hello and welcome to the 17th part of my LEGO Scratch tutorial series for the LEGO Mindstorms Road Inventor for Spike Prime and for the LEGO Mindstorms EV3. In this part, we will finally take a look at my blocks or subroutines. And I've prepared something, a pretty simple line follower, basically one of the models that I proposed to build. So, what are subroutines? With subroutines or my blocks, which you can find here at the My Blocks tab, you can simply create a new block. You can give it a name, for example, follow line, and then you can add inputs or add a label. It's usually a good idea to use a name that is easily recognizable because otherwise you might not know after a few days what you actually wanted to do with the block or you might work on a team and then your team members might not know what you use it for. So I want to follow a line. So follow a line is a pretty clear name. And then we can also add inputs, either numbers or text or booleans, logical values that can be either true or false or text or numbers. And in my case, I also want to add an input for the speed. So I will simply call that speed. Now we can save this block and we've got a second start point, which looks pretty similar. And this is basically our my block. We can use this block to call this my block and then this will be executed. So basically if I put it here and if I put something here, then it will start here, get to this point and continue here. It will do the same as previously, just that this time it will jump into the my block. But the flow is the same. So let's just test if this program works as it is. And it works great. It can follow a line. But now we've got uh, an argument. We can change the speed. And I will simply input that here, so I can call the my block with a speed of minus 30, and then it will get input into this block, into the speed value, and then I can use the speed value inside of this block. So basically, I can use an external number, or I can enter an external number into the my block, and then here I can use this value. Just like a simple variable that's being defined, or where we can give the value when we call this block. And now I maybe I want to drive forwards until I see the wall. So I can wait until or I can loop until I see the wall. And I only have to adjust this line follower block. I, do, I can leave this as it is. And that's one of the purposes or the advantages of my block or of a subroutine that I only have to bother with a subroutine if I want to change it. And it works, or I can assume that it works. And if it doesn't work, I only have to change the subroutine. And otherwise, if it works, I can simply just write my program here and add other stuff. So I don't want to use this forever, or I don't want to do this forever, only until there's something in front of the ultrasonic sensor, maybe closer than 15%. And then I want to get back into this program. So now it would be called, it would uh, follow the line, and it will follow the line until it sees something in front of the ultrasonic sensor. Then it will finish, it will get back to the main loop. So it will basically just continue below this block. And now I could turn around because there's something in front of the robot, or I can drive around that and I can use simple move commands for that instead of a line follower. And then I could continue the line follower or I can simply turn around and line follow again. Turn around for 10 centimeters, this wouldn't work, but uh, just as an example. And then I could follow the line again with a faster speed. So I could use minus 40 as speed. And then I would follow a line until there's a wall, until this ultrasonic sensor gets triggered, 
and then I would turn around and drive into the other direction but faster because maybe there was a monster in the way and you want to drive away from the monster. So that's an example of how to use the my block. I won't do that, but I will make a reaction after we saw something. And I will simply show the smiley for two seconds. So let's try this program out. That worked more or less. I think that the ultrasonic sensor had a few problems, but the line follower worked for sure. So that's how you use my blocks or subroutines. So today we've learned what my blocks or subroutines are, why they are useful, and also that we can change how they behave by adding variables that we can change or by adding parameters that we can change. For example, the speed in this case. Of course, it only makes sense to use a few parameters, but you will learn that by doing, I think. I think that there's no thumb rule for which parameters are useful, but usually sh you shouldn't do more than two or three, only in some edge cases. But anyways, that was it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video and bye.